Well, WBZ's Christina Hager got a really fun shout out on late night TV. Stephen Colbert had some fun with Christina in his segment called Meanwhile. Familiar with DNA testing kits, but you may not know that you can get them for your pets when you run out of things to buy. But <laughs> there's a new investigation into pet DNA testing by our own CBS affiliate WBZ Boston, New England's news leader, who asked, how accurate are pet DNA tests? We sent one lab a swab from a human. Reporter Christina Hager swabbed her own cheek. The company reported back that Hager was 40% Alaskan Malamute, 35% Sharpay, and 25% Labrador, which is shocking until you see Christina Hager. <laughs> Hi, Christina. <laughs> And here we have the actual Christina Hager, who is far more beautiful in real life. Oh, thank you, Paula. What was your reaction I mean, when you saw dogs that? Are cute. Though. Well, they are you adorable. Have to admit. They are adorable, <laughs> and you know, you'd be an adorable Sharpay. Um, <laughs> did you catch that last night? I, I'm embarrassed to say I didn't yeah. catch it. I had my phone on the charger. There were actually there was someone from CBS calling me to warn me that this would oh, be on. That was and funny. I didn't even. I saw that this morning. Oh my um, gosh. I saw clips of everyone I've ever. <laughs> met texted me and said did you see this Christina have you seen uh, this oh, it well so it funny. was such I a was funny dying. joke a fun way to wake up this morning because I have to say when you did the story after you had sent all of these DNA testing companies mm -hmm. your cheek swap it was really yeah. we were kind of chuckling on the it was really kind of funny <laughs> that you were part husky part charpe mm -hmm. and part what else Malamute. <laughs> Malamute. <laughs> You, which is a kind of like a, a, a husky type that dog. That is so funny. So clearly yeah. Stephen Colbert saw the humor in that and uh, very mean, funny it's segment. It's humorous. It, it was, <laughs> you know, we were looking at this. this we've done two stories on this. Kind right. of looking at it from a more serious angle, of course. So, you know, consumer, buyer yes. beware type thing. And, well, and people care issues. passionately about their they pets, their dogs. They will spend a ton of money on this. That's right. And, and you, you don't want to think you're being had. Right. When you sent their DNA exactly. in. Exactly. Yeah. And also a lot of breeds have medical conditions that come with them, right? So you do want it to be accurate. There have been documented cases where people mm -hmm. are making decisions uh, with regard to veterinary medicine sure. based on these results. There right. are, there's insurance uh, rates that, that are sometimes in play. Mm -hmm. So it is as fun as this is, it does, you know, call into question this whole industry sort of. It's true. Um, and, and to be fair, yeah. there are some scientists yeah. who will say let's not just throw this all out there's some real value here and if we keep working on it we'll get it right one I'm day. sure a lot of vets would agree with that yeah. and to be fair you pointed out in your piece there were companies that you sent your human swab yes. to and they came back and said no there's no, no dog, DNA no dog here, here. <laughs> <laughs> but I like to um, think I'm a lab it's I mean yeah. if I were a dog you know, they're very friendly and lovely who doesn't love a lab you remind me of that scene in <laughs> best in show when Catherine O'Hara says about her little um, Yorkie? Is it a Yorkie oh. or is it a, uh, no, her terrier. Okay. She's like, have you seen a better face? <laughs> have you seen a more lovable face? Do you know a more lovable personality? And that is what we think when we think of Christina Hager. To your point, we all love our dogs. We do. We love our dogs. <laughs> it's true. And your dog on our Instagram account said hello to Stephen Colbert's dog. My dog was so excited about this whole thing. She played a big part in this. We actually tested her. What's her name? Um, Cleo. Cleo. And, and what is Cleo? Well, a mix. That's up for maybe a mix. <laughs> she's a mix. And that's part of what people what, what's so fascinating about all this is people <laughs> adopt these dogs from shelters and don't know yeah. anything about their history right. or their past. Which is great. You want to find you out. want those shelter dogs to get adopted yes, absolutely but I think that's fed into the interest in these DNA tests to figure out well, what what breed is my dog all right I think you need to take your dog portrait holding the WBZ mic I love the dog portrait that the Colbert show produced my whole family loves this portrait my kids this should be your new headshot on social media <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that would be fantastic <laughs> it should be framed in your home your son's homes for all time. <laughs> I bet your father, Robert Hager, loved it. Oh, too. <laughs> well, he's got some explaining to do. I, think. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Robert Hager of NBC News fame. Uh, must be so proud of you. But no, it really is. It's a great story. Colbert had fun with it. And hopefully that'll drive more people to our website to watch how detailed the story was. Check it out. All right, check it out. Christina Hager, thank you. Thanks, Paula. <laughs>